Hi there. Uh, welcome to the UMD PDP-12 um, Virtual Vintage Computing Festival video. Um, we've been wanting to make the machine more available to students to mess around with, and one way we thought that could be would be to let them um, write some programs um, in BASIC, which our machine has and can execute. Of course, um, we can't get at the machine right now, but I thought it would be useful to talk about how you can write programs in um, OS8 BASIC for the PDP and um, run them using SimH. Um, I'm using a, a cool retro term terminal here because my VT220 is locked up at the university. Um, so uh, you'll just have to bear with me for, for the faux retro feel. So um, this demo is, is based on a series of blog posts by Big Dan the Blogging Man. Uh, the URL is uh, there for his PDP-8 posts, um, specifically two posts about running BASIC and also about building and formatting an RKO5 hard drive that has BASIC on it. Um, we are. I went through that process and I pre-made my own RKO5 disk with OS8 and BASIC um, that we're going to download and, and you can download too. That's going to skip some of the kind of um, setup that uh, you have to go through on the web page. Um, we also have a basic manual here um, that could be useful for you. I love the way that highlight looks. Um, so I will actually wget that um, here while we're talking. Um, so you can go ahead and download this RKO5 image. You're also going to want to install SimH, um, which in Ubuntu you can do um, just using apt-get install SimH. Um, and again, you could create this disk image yourself if you wanted to, um, but this will just save you some time. All right, so once you get SimH installed, just run PDP-8. We're going to set CPU to 32K, full complement of memory. Set CPU idle. I don't actually know what this does, but um, I've seen other people do it. Then we need to attach to the RKO device that disk, that we, disk image that we just downloaded. So OS 8 biz basic RKO5. Um, that's a, a simple boot disk that also includes um, the business basic um, for OS 8. And now we can boot RKO. All right. So now we get the period prompt. That's the prompt for OS 8. And if we run dir, you can see um, there's basic. So basic is, is very straightforward. Um, we wanted students to be able to experiment, write their own programs, um, so they could bring them to the PDP-12 and try running them. And we thought it would be useful if they had a way to do that using a simulator, so they could kind of experiment and play with things at home. So once you get this far, you can just run basic. You can say whether you want to um, run an old program or um, a new program. In this case, we'll do a new program. I'm just going to call this test. And here we are at the programming prompt. And so now you can actually write your program. So this is just classic basic stuff, right? Print, hello world, nothing exciting here. Um, 20, go to 10 for that old chestnut. Okay, and now um, if we want to, we can list the program. Okay, there it is. Um, and of course we can run the program and uh, it does exactly what you'd expect it to do. We can control C to, to break ex out of execution. Um, and if we want to save the program, we can hit save or type save. And to leave basic, this might um, you know, confuse you, quit, exit, that doesn't work. You have to use the friendly buy. And that kicks you back out to OS8. And now if we run dir, um, we see our test basic program is there. It amazes me how fast uh, we can get directory listings in SimH. Um, yeah, it, it's a little bit different on the PDP-12. Um, so now if we want to run basic again, we can do old, and I'll say test. And now if we run test, we see our program there. Okay, so that's how students can um, put files onto their virtual disks. Um, we can load these virtual disks um, on our, our PDP-12. Um, and I'm sure there's also a way that you can get a file, um, extract a file from an RKO5 disk image, but that's beyond the scope of this video today. 
So um, again, to quit basic, you can say buy. To get back to the simulator console, you hit control E, uh, or you can hit C to go back into the simulation. But I want to quit, so I'll type exit, and now we're done. So with that, hopefully you can play around with writing um, little basic programs for OS 8 basic. And I hope everyone is staying um, safe and healthy and um, being a good neighbor and all those good things. So um, thanks, everybody, and take care.